AI is dumber than you think. Ever asked ChatGPT something like, how are you feeling today? Hoping it will respond like a normal human being. But then be surprised because instead of saying, I'm feeling great, it says, I don't hurt feelings. And it's not only the most famous GPT I'm talking about here. In fact, no AI in the world can respond to a question like, how do you feel? Or what it thinks are certain topics. So how can these robots be so smart to calculate something like factor polynomial, but then fail to answer the most simple conversation starter ever? The catch is, artificial intelligence cannot tell you how it feels because it simply doesn't have a conscious awareness as us humans do. Imagine AI as a potato following a really detailed instruction manual. It's not really thinking about it. It just follows a set of instructions based on what is learned, taken from previous data that you gave to it. When you show AI a picture of a tree, it won't know what this tree looks like. It won't just look at branches, leaves, and trunk like us humans do and just know. Oh, that's a tree. Instead, it sees these tiny colored dots or pixels that fill up and make the image. It checks all of the pixels of that image and matches them with all of the pictures of trees it has seen before. Once the majority of the pixels are matched, the AI recognizes, hey, that's a tree, but it could also fail. Huh? What you just saw was a basic principle of prediction. The bot essentially predicted that this is a tree. This principle of prediction is not only used in image recognition, but it's used in text as well. Wait a minute! Yet, if both AI and humans can predict the same words, how are they even different? Us humans, we simply know that the words apple and pie can fit together, because we know about the context, that the pie is made of apple. We've tasted it, and we know how it tastes. Artificial intelligence, however, doesn't have this context. It somehow just has to connect these two words purely on previous data and technology. How does it do that? Because AI isn't human and can't see the words, it rather transforms the words into numbers. So the word apple is converted to a set of numbers. Let's say 35, 37, and 9. Now AI will try to match these three numbers with similar other numbers that represent other words. Let's say the word pi in AI's mind would be the numbers 35, 37, and not 9, because 9 is already the number of apple, but a. In a large space of numbers, also called the vector database, the most similar numbers and therefore probable words sit together. The distance between apple and pi is smaller than between apple and phone, particularly if the sentence is, I want to eat apple blank. So the AI picks pie because it sits closer to apple. It sees them as related and connects them to form apple pie. Nice. By matching similar patterns, it can predict connections and generate text that feels human-like. But who actually gives our potato instructions? Large language models, or AI, have been trained on vast amounts of data before they were created. And I'm talking terabytes or even petabytes of data. Where was it taken from though? Google, YouTube, basically everywhere you look for information on the internet. However, even if these large language models cannot be used for proper everyday conversations, Ooh. they can still be a perfect tool for a variety of different areas or expertise, such as healthcare. AI systems can analyze medical data and try to interpret medical images, like MRI or even X-rays, based on image recognition we mentioned earlier. This is why artificial intelligence is so widely used. It helps us get through the complicated stuff. But is that really enough? A doctor caring for a patient wouldn't just look at the symptoms and plug them into a fixed protocol like artificial intelligence would. Instead, they'd understand the patient's unique needs, take into account their history, listen to their concerns, and make decisions that offer comfort and hope. Even though AI could analyze millions of medical records and provide accurate data, it will still lack awareness of the individual's experiences, emotions, and a human side of healing. It has absolutely no empathy or big picture thinking. We are different. This is what makes us irreplaceable. So when you hear people saying AI is taking over the world, just remember, the future isn't about AI replacing us. It's about AI working with us, helping us with what we do best like possibly making this YouTube video right now. <laughs>